Ladies and gentlemen, we are deep inside this series. This series, we're talking about urgency. We're saying, uh, what are some of the things you can be able to do so that you can be urgent? Actually, the title of the series is How to Achieve More by Living with Fierce Urgency. You know what I'm talking about when I talk about urgency. You know that when your back is against the wall or when you've hit rock bottom, there is one value that is going to help you. There's one tool, one resource that you can be able to equip yourself with, which is the resource or the tool of urgency. But we don't have to wait until we get uh, our backs against the wall or we get ourselves hitting rock bottom before we can be urgent. Urgency is something we can do daily. And uh, we're going to tell you uh, how exactly you're going to become urgent in your lives. But today, we're talking about the areas that you can focus on in terms of injecting urgency in your life. Today, we look at one more area. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Yeah, so... If we are going to be productive in our lives, there are very many things that we can be able to do, but one of the things that you can take to the bank that is going to double our efforts and is going to bring a lot of feedback and a lot of uh, results, it is the spirit, the tool, the resource, the value of agency. Look at any leading organization, whether it's governmental, it's business, it's private, non-governmental. Look at every any entity that is really making things turn. Every any individual that is on top of their game, you'll not find any one of them who lacked agency. All of them they have injected agency, either intentionally or otherwise. But for the most part, it is intentionally and so we're discussing in these episodes what we can be able to do in order to increase our productivity with urgency and we've seen that our lives are divided into several sectors and yesterday we looked at the first sector which is health physical fitness wellness and and so on we talked about that that uh, you need to be urgent as far as your health is concerned and i want to dwell much more into that you can revisit yesterday's episode you can find that out today is a landmark episode it is episode number 1100 and one of the things that i want to do in this episode is to talk about one of the most powerful areas of life without which there is no humanity and I'll start with sharing with you a story that I don't remember very well, but I can piece it together so that we can just get the concept. This story is by a motivational speaker. It is one of the most powerful stories you can you can hear, you can listen to. And so this motivational speaker is raised up by his mom, I think single mom, and all this while, as this mom is raising him, the boy is boisterous, he's righteous, and he's not heeding to the mom, he's not having a good relationship with the mama, and all the while he's out there partying and doesn't give mama his time and so on. So one day he's in a foreign country, and uh, in his hotel the phone rings. When the phone rings and he answers, he's told your mama 
is gone. Mom is gone. That's when it hits him. He bangs the head, uh, the, the, the phone back and dashes out of the hotel room and just runs into the streets not knowing where he's going. At the funeral, he sees the body of mom in a casket. He breaks down and starts talk, talking to her, starts regretting and wishes he was there for mama, wishes he could talk to her, wishes he had more moments with her than anything. Too little, too late. See, you cannot become urgent to salvage a relationship that the other party has died. And death in relationships either is physical death or it is spiritual death. Let me tell you something about relationships because that's the other area of urgency that I want us to talk about. The spiritual death normally precedes the physical death. In other words, if both of you are still alive, the spiritual death of your relationship sometimes precedes the physical death. In other words, before there is a divorce, there, there is actually a divorce. You, you get what I'm saying? Before there is a divorce, physically, there is a divorce spiritually. Before there is a separation physically, there is a separation spiritually. And you know why there is a separation spiritually? There is a divorce spiritually? Do, do you know why a relationship breaks down spiritually fast? One of the reasons is because there was no urgency. Maybe one part of the equation, one part of the relationship, they did not exude any kind of urgency, any kind of care. See, relationships are interesting because sometimes we want to work relationships with feelings. And it's cute. One of the cutest things ever in relationships is actually feelings. It is so cute, man. It is so cute to know that you are wanted, to know that, to feel you are loved. And you, when you are outside of the presence of the, the, the person who loves you and the person that you love, you long for them. You cannot live without them. That, 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 that feeling is cute. But the point is that feeling is not there from day one to day 365. And therefore, sometimes, you see, when those feelings are there, there is even no need for urgency in the relationship, in making it, you know, thrive. There are those moments. But let me tell you something about relationships. We take a lot of this for granted. And when those feelings are not there, it doesn't mean that the relationship has ended and so on. When the spiritual part is not there, it means we need to work on it. If we are going to think that relationships are going to work because feelings are there only, we will be wrong. We need to become urgent with our relationships so that they can be able to thrive. Statistics of marital breakdowns even in the so-called Christian circles, are astounding. I mean, breakups upon breakups upon breakups and disharmony, disunity, and abuse and abuse. and so, It's heartbreaking, man. And I can boil this down maybe to one thing or one of the things is lack of urgency in our relationships. When things go wrong in a relationship, where is the urgency to found, find a respite immediately. The other party was wrong, words were exchanged. Cool off, yes. But even as the Bible says, before the sun goes down, that particular day, why can't you guys have a talk? Did you notice one thing, by the way? It's very interesting and very powerful. When there is a breakdown in communication or the, you've thrown words at each other in a relationship, and then you sit down and you start ironing it 
out and you start talking, did you know that it brings you even much closer? When you understand the other party, when you, you talk issues out, especially if you're not accusing one another, but you talk issues out. Urgency in resolving. Urgency in forgiving. Urgency in proactivity in the relationship. Whether the feelings are there or not. I remember Tony Robbins saying something about his relationship with his wife. He says something very powerful. He says that your physiology connects to your psychology. And therefore, he gives this idea that when he is coming back home from work, on, his wife is coming back and he's at home, they have made it a ritual. I don't know if it's true or not, but that, that's what I heard him saying. They made it a ritual to run at each other. See how a dog normally greets you? Let, let's learn from the dog. When when you when your fa- your favorite dog when the dog sees you at the gate, ah, tell ya, the tail is being wagged violently. He's, he's doing cartwheels, okay, no cartwheels. He's running around in circles. He's jumping up and down, jumping up and down, barking, excited to see you. What does that do to you? When the dog does that, what does it do? It warms your heart. But what we do as human beings, it is the opposite. You see your spouse coming through the door and you pull this long face like a a mule. Like the mule has been baptized, a Missouri mule has been baptized in lemon juice. There are no greetings, no ceremony whatsoever. Let me tell you, (laughs) our physiology our body language there has got to be urgency injected in our body language as far as our relationships are concerned so that when we see the other party coming we run to them we hug them some of us we don't hug we don't kiss we don't look each other in the eye and just regard each other for a minute don't dance no physiology that can affect our psychology in our relationships. No urgency at all as far as that is concerned. Let me tell you, the other area of life that we need to inject urgency in is the area of relationships. Whether they are marital relationships, they are family relationships, you know, children and and, uh, parents and parents and children, and it's work-related relationships, whatever it is, we are social beings, we're social animals. Human beings, like I said earlier on at the beginning of this episode, you remove this aspect of life from life, there are no human beings. We are social animals, we are meant to relate. But one of the areas that we don't focus on a lot, and we don't put urgency in that area, is relationships. We have invented phones and games and TVs and gadgets and electronics so much so and work so much so that we don't have urgency as far as relationships are concerned and our relationships are dying on a daily basis at a very fast pace at a very fast rate because we don't have any urgency let me ask you this question my friend on a scale of one to ten one being false and ten being true how urgent are you in your relationship in your intimate relationship in your family relationship in your work relationship on a scale of one to ten you know that for a fact especially in these intimate relationships when we are waiting for the feelings to come or the feelings to come back it's not gonna work that way feelings will need to be led after the feelings have been evaporated that is another area of life guys that we need to focus on and inject urgency in it And I don't want to spend more time talking about that. But let us do something about our relationships and inject urgency in them. Let us not wait until we get a phone call. Mom is gone. Dad is gone. Your wife is gone. Your child is gone. Or they are sick or they can't talk anymore. They can't recognize you anymore. Come on. Let us be urgent. A phone call a day. My friend gave me a challenge to be calling my father every day. And I failed miserably. Maybe if you can't do it a day, do it a week. Or if you can't do it a week, do it a month, but just let it not pass through a month. Be urgent as far as these things are concerned. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Tomorrow we'll look at another area that you'll need to inject urgency in your life in. But until then, bye-bye.
Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.